Hey, we're doing it. Hey, it's going on, <laughs> right? on. Right on. Right The program, the equipment, the lifts. <laughs> Greetings and welcome to Die, Drink, and Die presents the Grimstone Chronicle Season 4, Episode 11. Ish. Ish. It's like the second part of last night's game. So what happened at about 2 o'clock in the morning? Computer crashed, and by the time we recovered... Uh, we, we recovered things and then started fiddling around with the file to make sure that we recovered the actual game. Um, it was three in the morning and I was like, I need to go to bed. And we're like, that's perfectly, <laughs> that's perfectly fine. We will continue this tomorrow. Uh, so if we look just, just a little bit different and the map is just a little bit off, we had to repopulate the map and a few other things. So yeah, there was no classic ending. There, there's a realm of chaos interacting with this yep. space, and things might have shifted by five foot square. Offline, I asked, the question that we play after we do the game is, what is the name of tonight's game? Last night's game is called You Know Who, Part 1. Yeah. And this will be You Know Who, Part 2, which yeah. is actually a nod to the lore behind Yunugu, um, whose name is supposed to have come up, been come up with by Gary Gygax or his crew uh, by taking the phrase You Know Who. Uh, yeah. Yep. So, yeah, cool. Um, and then he's appeared in our campaigns before. So the recap of last game is Barnabas, Branos, Widget, Rift, Countess, Contessa, and Valsorin battle hordes of gnolls in the ancient Gazeri Citadel. Widget finds a strange chamber with a star field map that is tracking Githyanki ships. Whatever the hell that means. Cog interacts with the trisected mind of an ancient Gazeri master. That was fun watching you interact with uh, a very smart, a very wise, and a very charismatic. Um, Getting your, like, the charismatic one being like, oh, I got this, was the most <laughs> ridiculous thing. <laughs> Brenos was warned by the canaries of Bahamut that not one but two threats um, uh, will be encountered in this, ch this ritual chamber. The party interrupts a ceremony in this ritual chamber being performed by a mad knoll prophet who seeks to resurrect a dead demon lord named Kinaku. Mm. There's still some madness going on. We left off halfway in the middle of combat. We've tried to recreate this map from, uh, from screenshots. Thanks, uh, Adam and Ahmed, for doing that. Your quick thinking saved me some time. What I didn't quite get were the hit points that you... how much damage you guys had in your characters, so... I uh, we guessed with some of them, and I don't know how much damage Cog had on it. He didn't. He didn't have any. He didn't have any in this chamber. I no. know he, he took some from the last chamber, but you guys healed. He up he him. auto he auto he has um. Let me see. Okay, so uh, the details on the sh on the token is off. I'll adjust those. Okay. Uh, so what's going on in this chamber? We've got the spirit of Yinagu, who has pledged himself to the Queen of Chaos, uh, who touched the portal to Limbo and brought the destination of the portal to somewhere deep, deep, deep within Limbo itself. When he did that, or when the portal arrived in the deep maelstrom, a wave of chaos rippled through the entire citadel, which you suspect is made out of mind stone or chaos stone, or Meldstone, which is the substance that uh, results from Gitzeri forming matter out of thought within uh, within the chaotic plane of Limbo. Uh, it makes sense why the stone seems to permeate that uh, uh, that strange um, uh, throat singing mm -hmm. uh, and prayer and bard song, as well as other properties. Um, but yes, uh, just the mere changing of the target location of that portal caused a ripple through the mind uh, through the mind citadel you have a mad priest that you assume you haven't seen anything but his hand it was a knollish hand a very skinny knollish hand uh, who is trying to resurrect Yunagu although Yunagu seems to not quite be on the same Wave there's a bit of against the will in here somewhere. Yes, and then there's something inside that circle about do you see, and there's another voice in there. It's all complicated, the prismatic sphere blocking their view. There are, are still three out of the four horrid antler beasts uh, that were feasting on corpses that were making horrible noises. Uh, the two Blabrazu are still, uh, are still uh, in the fight. Um, one of them summoned a Vrock. 
I think this one had two strength damage and about 50 hit points damage. Um, Zateo has revealed himself. Um, uh, Riff is not a dwarf, but was a polymorphed uh, copper dragon who worships Io and is a worm singer bard. Um, and uh, is quite impressed with Brennos' sword and has now witnessed Brennos' dominance on the battlefield. <laughs> what else is going on? Uh, Widget uh, got whisked away to a maze. Yeah, Widget is currently in a maze spell, trying to figure out his way out after uh, counterspelling some of the magic from the Mad Knoll. Yep. who is some powerful arcane caster. Aemon, he was the only one affected by the chaotic energies. Perhaps his tiefling blood being of the Outer Plains is a little bit more malleable than others. We've already seen a native outsider also get kind of corrupted quite yep. easily. So, yes, maybe being of the Plains and being affected by Plains is um, uh, a, path to, um, a path to change. Uh, and then we're in the middle of the third round of combat. Uh, I think the spirit of Unigu has gone. Did Widget go yet? No. So the spirit of Unigu went. We forgot to do the Horde Antler Beast. The Horde Antler Beast attacked. It got slapped back. That's right. Um, which where I got the Infernal Bite from. And then we're at Widget's turn when yep. we decided to freeze. Yeah, okay. So on Widget's turn, let me just reopen a few of my tabs here. Um, maze spell. All right, I believe Widget needs to make an in-check. If, indeed, he is trying to find his way out, he could just sit in there for a while if he wants. Um, seems pretty busy. Let's let's get out there. Okay. You may you may attempt a DC 20 in-check to escape the labyrinth as a full round action. You, okay. you have a hero point? Yeah, I do. Do you want me to spend it? Uh, I, I don't know. Widget I'm currently curious. has a hero point. So Widget is going to spend the hero point preemptively. For a plus eight on the roll. He's got good hope. Plus two. And a plus six ants. That's a plus 16. Because he's wizard. Plus okay. 16. He's wizard. Um, so he, he in if flavor, he lights a, lights a cigar, <laughs> or chews on his cigar, and gives it a thought. 30. Okay, would you like, and... Go the, just follow left, go really quickly, and then, oh, uh, there's some weird exits lights over there. <laughs> yep, so Widget full round actions, and he exits. Where was he? Where was that Barnabas? Where was that Barnabas? Yep. Yeah, he was um, yeah, right there. here, or you know, in the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he was in yeah. the back. Uh, okay, so that was a full round action. You're hasted. So you technically have a haste attack when you exit. Uh, yes. Of a pitch. Uh, widget, he will uh, ready to attack a thing that comes in range. Nothing's in range currently. So, okay. I'm back. <laughs> if you couldn't make DC 20 intelligence checks, you'd just be stuck in there for 10 minutes. Yeah, you just, this is where you live now. Yeah. If you had a, a, if you had an 8, 9 int, this is just where you go, and you get to stay there. Yeah. And no survival skills that you could beg for a plus two or something. <laughs> come on, come on. Oh, halfway way here. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Cog. So what did you just have like, a pretty action smack thing? Or? Yeah, well, he's got a, he's got a, 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 a actually he doesn't have a quick runner's fast, so he can only use his haste attack as attack. Yep. Okay. And then nothing within range is yeah. useful. Cog. Okay, what are the threats? We've got this thing, that thing, this thing. So this thing is what? Flat-footed? Uh, it's prone and, flat -footed. and stunned. Okay, let's Medusa strike that sucker right away. <laughs> okay. Yeah. We're just, this is, no. And there's still two Glabrazoos up here just hanging out. Yes. Just doing their own thing. So the guards. Okay. Uh, so... The button on the right has one mirror image left. The one on the left, I believe, has five. Okay. Um, that rock is going to get two of these things. Uh, 53 and 43. Yeah, the the downed rock uh, is getting pummeled. Uh, DR10 good. DR10. I have a plus five weapon. Okay. Does that get through it? Yeah, it gets through it. 
Okay. So it is also taking um, sneak. Uh, let's see. Prone doesn't give it sneak. Stunned? Uh, stunned deny your dex? Yes, it does. Okay. And then those conditions. I think the stun condition is part of your Medusa strike list, is it not? Yeah. So these these are these are these are Medusa these are Medusa okay. strikes. Okay, so you're doing a flurry with a Medusa strike on your first attack. Uh, yeah. You know, in that case, I have one more attack. Correct. So three attacks. Now this sucker doesn't have any damage, right? Nope. He was summoned and he. 45, so that's going to be three of these things. Uh, 21, and it's going to be six, and three, and six, and then plus 38, plus 39. There, I'll just do it that way. Uh, 264. Okay, somewhere while you're striking the creature, it kind of poofed into a bunch of black vine-colored feathers that all dissipate and burn up, and the summoned creature... Uh, returns from whence it came after mm. receiving a beating. Okay, let's <laughs> let's take this guy down. Actually, no, this one's still up. This one is down. Let's focus on him. Let's get rid of him. And I'm going to be a stunning fist with the first attack. Okay. The one that is down? No, the one that's standing next to me. It's got 100 damage. Okay. I just approximated how much damage these things had. I know it's yeah, okay. right now, so I got struck back, but there was one that was basically uh, forty-four was is lowest. Yeah. Okay, um, one hit. Does that mirror images? Uh, uh oh, mischance. Mischance. From. Does the Cog blur. have the, Does Cog have? I have Heartseeker. Heartseeker. Okay, then never mind. Yeah, they both okay. Yeah, they both hit. Uh, does forty four hit it though? Yep. Okay. Uh, and AC, uh, not AC. The uh, fort save. Uh, twenty. No, it doesn't. This special ability does not apply against aberrations, oozes, plants, outsiders with the elemental subtype. Okay, never mind. It does. He's not an out. He's an he's outsider, but he's, but he's got art. Yep. Yeah, yeah. My bad. Uh, fort save for for stun. Oh, stunning fist. Sure. Yeah. That one. <laughs> oh, we can get a shot in the gut. Yep. <laughs> uh, you, hit, you hit it right across the brow of its uh, uh, right across its. Let's uh, let's eyebrow. confirm that crit. An extended kick afterwards. Forty? Does forty hit it? Uh, yep. Yeah. Okay, so pound crit. Uh, standard. Okay, so it's four hits. And that's just right. your second attack action for the round. You did a flurry, and then you end up getting the extra attack because he's stunned. Yeah, so flurry, Medusa, flurry, Medusa, and the Medusa I crit, so that's four hits on the second attack. Uh, I'm just going to do this. Oh, mm -hmm. this is 28. I enjoy and, this and, now. And, and, and the... <laughs> You get sneak attack on. Oh, no, man. you. On the first, I stunned the first one. You stunned on the first one. Okay. Yep. So on the next two attacks, there are sneak attack. One sixty, one fifty-six. Or three attacks. Oh. Uh, uh three hundred twenty-five. Okay, you end up hitting him in the same spot in the bridge of his nose uh, that you break into his skull, and the thing, the thing shudders. Uh, kind of pukes up a bunch of the uh, a bunch of the corpses that it was even eating in this foul stench, and then curls over and dies. Okay, so one, two. Oh, wait, these guys are down. Okay, these guys are down. One, two. Uh, this one or this one? This one or this one? <laughs> attack this one or go for the Glabber Zoo? You do what you need to do, my dude. You've got this dude. I'm not worried about him. 
That dude got himself. I believe he's staggered. Uh, let's let's hit this guy twice. So it's going to be a haste attack and my third attack. Okay. At minus tens. Okay. Yeah. Uh, 33 is my lower one. 33 misses. Okay, 42? 42 hits. Okay. Uh, no. No, nope, give me a second, he's prone. Uh, he has an AC 30 while prone, so both of them hit. Okay, cool. No sneak. I think a peak critical fumbled against you and fell at face planted. I think that's what happened. Nice. Uh, you turn around to that one, you grab some of his horns, and you just sort of swing around his head while he's swinging around. He's much stronger than you. You just keep on pounding in the face. And you uh, try to shake you 121. off. 121. 21. Two hits. Okay, the creature is still going. I'm out of attacks. Just eight hits. Zateo. Fighting. Uh, does does Hale have anything that would remove stunning? Uh, Who's stunned? So Zateo can breathe again in three rounds. Oh, bloody hell! Is is Barnabas? Who's stunned? Barnabas is stunned for three rounds. This cog might be able to do something. That's a good question. Let's see. Let's see if he cares. Oh, Medusa, oh, strike. Medusa strike. Medusa strike Barnabas. <laughs> uh, that's good. I'm not seeing anything. No. Okay. He doesn't have like remove paralysis or anything like that. Uh Nope. Doesn't Barnabas? Oh, never mind. I was gonna say is freedom is freedom of movement running, but that doesn't do anything. It's that. Uh, I'm trying to see if the cog's medic thing does anything. Okay, so I think he's going to use his draconic action yep. to fly around into a flank with Cog. Nice. Get a bite. And then he's going to full round the horrid antler beast with all of his dragon attack. At his size, he's going to bite, two claws, two wings, and a tail. Mm-hmm. Kick his ass. Alright. Um, we'll do it this way. I have six attacks at 20 plus. Eighteen, twenty. With spells running. Plus five bard song. It's two. Good hope. Plus one haste. He's flanking with tactical acumen. So mm -hmm. That's another four. He's at plus twelve to hit. And then his his um, his first attack is plus is three higher because he made his bite bigger. All right. So we've got a hit with the bite, a critical threat with the claw, a hit with the claw, a hit with the wing, a hit with the wing, and a hit with the tail. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Confirm that crit. It's confirmed. Amazing with a minor injury. <laughs> That's a big crit there. All right. Damages. With the claw, it's an additional three, so 18. So I've got his claw. Or sorry, his bite. Uh, an amazing crit on the claw. It's like he hit with four times the claw, so 4d8 plus strength plus all the buffs. I oh, will do the buffs at the end. Uh, 
that's 12, 48, plus two wings, uh, that's not so much, it's 46, plus another half his strength, plus one is seven, so 14, um, and the tail, let's do the half, it's another d8, plus another Seventeen. All right, and then the bard song is five. Good hope is two. That's the only two things that. Uh, bard song is five. Good hope is two. Uh, haste. Damage. Damage. Uh, bard song is. All right, so he bit. He clawed twice, but then one claw adds two more. He winged twice and he tailed. So it's seven times eight fifty-six for the buffs. Um, 181 damage. He's not. Oh, with it, he's not busting through DR with all of these. So his bite does. His claws don't. So it's two. Two wings is 40, and the tail is 50. So it does 151 damage. On top of the 151 damage the creature already has, he pounces on the backside of it, just starts raking and ripping, and there's this massive roar as he tears this thing apart. Excellent work. What's left? Foul beasts! Take a week to get the taste out of my mouth. I'll make a concoction for that. (laughs) 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 He's like spitting chunks of it. Uh... Yeah, good creature. Goodly-ish creature probably doesn't like eating things like that. Eamon. Uh, I think Eamon... <sighs> okay. I think Eamon is going to... Strike Barnabas. Step, <laughs> physically take Barnabas... And pull him back to the doorway. Oh, oh sorry. There, there should be a uh, uh, a blade barrier still going. Oh no! Well, we... Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh no! There's a blade barrier right there. Okay. Um, well, we continue this 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 thought process, but instead we pull him, I think, to behind the pot. Like to okay. we're gonna, we're gonna hide him behind the pot. I don't know why Cog is with me. Cog is in there. <laughs> I was I was there. Yeah. Oh, I'm I'm okay. flying. I'm flying. Right. It's okay. I'm above okay, you. Okay, so we're gonna drag Barnabas behind yeah. the pot, and we will like defend Barnabas. Okay. You're gonna hide from this thing. He's, he's getting something between whatever this glowy orb thing is and the giant portal. Probably and, puts him there. And Barnabas, and if the Glabrazoos can see Barnabas, he's gonna be defending Barnabas. So I guess he will stand here because I don't think. It's easy. I think it's harder to hit Barnabas that way in the repositioning. You've got you've got him underneath me, so. Well, that didn't work out well for Breno. So I mean, he still got his ass kicked by a bunch of people who just ran past you. you you're. St- <laughs> <laughs> no, he didn't. He's fine. <laughs> they were going for me, not for him. Um, Brennus is doing fine though. He's got what sixty damage. Uh, he's got one strength, an infernal wound. Yes, yeah, 70 damage. Will a heal spell get rid of that? I need the infernal wound. We'll find out. He's, he's just, a cursy boo boo bite. I could just do healing on you manually. No magic. Marshall Field Surgeon! I don't think it even works. Cursy wounds usually don't heal naturally at all. Mm, cursey wounds, so remove curse, you mean? Head, what do you see? <gasps> wounds of change. Um, you guys begin to hear an, a horrible howling noise. Uh, are any of you unprotected from, from mind affecting effects? Uh, like evil? Protection from evil? Cog is. 
He's on protect. I, uh, Brennus had it, but he's on his own right now. I mean, Brennus, Brennus has a magic circle against evil that was protecting the whole party, but he's currently... Protecting not, the enemies. He's protecting the enemies <laughs> from the Howling Winds. Uh, I think most of the party isn't protected. Yeah, right? we're not protected. Now, can can Widget oh, part of a dispel? Howling. The winds are changed! What is this? What is this? Uh, you guys do see that, like, the view every once in a while that you're catching from the portal, it's like it dove really deep and then jutted out to the side, and it went it went closer to a really loud, horrible noise. It's like okay. winds that are perfect. Like, if you listen to it any longer, you feel like you're going to go nuts. So any non-chaotic type being, which would be a lot of the mortals in the room, need to make will saves if they don't have a protection from chaos or a protection from evil up. Well, okay, check your mythic abilities because there's something useful there. Well, uh, this doesn't sound like a spell. This. No, it's just defenses or. I, I say this because I've run into it before. It's growling a... behind the wind, and then there's high pitch, and it's just there's something else you can't hear, but your minds are reacting to. Uh, we'll say what you said. Yep. Let's do this in order of initiative. Okay. Uh, Val, not here. Brenos. Uh, mean, yeah, right. Widget. Uh, Widget is not protected. Came back just in time. Yep. Well, this is the point. Uh, all right. So, thirty-four. Thirty-four makes it. You are not confused. Uh, twelve. Okay. So, mind is a mind affecting. Yes. Three, four. Good hope. Thirty. Okay. So Teo got a thirty-five. He is not confused. Cog, you're not confused. All right. Good. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Uh, Amen. Okay. So Amen has a pretty crap will save, but he can re-roll his will saves. Okay. He's taking a minus two right now because of his level one corruption. Well. He wants Crap. to. He wants to give in. There's something about the corruption that has happened that he that he's more susceptible to giving okay. in. Okay. So we have a plus two from Good Hope. This is a charm or compulsion. Uh, yeah. My. Okay. It's oh. not fear based, right? Nope. Okay. All right. The maddening winds. He will spend some resolve to re-roll the thirteen. Okay. Yep. Does a twenty make it? No. Okay. All right. So the people who fail are confused for three rounds. Oh, Barnabas didn't get Barnabas didn't get to roll. Barnabas is stunned, but he does he does have to roll. He's the next one to roll. Well, fuck. Yeah, one d twenty plus teen. Uh, uh, no, this is he gets a plus four bonus on this because this is a spell or effect that varies based on target's alignment. I think. Oh, no, maybe not. Okay. Uh, and does, this does, auditory? This, does this is it is this alignment based or creature type based? Uh, I guess it would be alignment. Okay, so he gets a plus four. He has his weird plus four bonus because of his his weird plane bard. bard or whatever. Yeah. yeah, outer planes bard. Okay, yeah, he makes it. Oh, nice. No, sorry, plus four. He spends a uh, uh, um, a mythic point and then makes it. Okay. So what was DC? Twenty-five. Twenty-five. Okay, so. He would have had a 22 to a plus 22. 22 uh, plus and four. Six. Uh, 22 plus six. He doesn't need to spend a point. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Quintessa, oh, the mad prophet. I rolled a six. He makes it. Not that he wasn't already kind of mad, but. Uh, he was slightly yeah. upset. Yep. And uh, the, rest, the rest of the people, I think, are okay. Oh, this one, Noel Hulk. <clears throat> Failed. Oh, he's just gonna go turn himself inside out now. Is any is is any of the party confused? Uh, yeah, even. 
Eamon's confused. Okay. Eamon's failing all the things because he's got plus 10 saving throws for some reason. Yeah, let's take a look at that. What's your magic? Part of us you can hear in the, in the telepathic bond. For some reason, we're, we're hearing the winds of pandemonium. We're not supposed to be in the pandemonium. Well, there's probably... Yeah, that's right. There's probably rifts in limbo to pandemonium. It's nearby plane relative-wise. Pandemonium. Oh, I'm going to stab pandemonium in its liver. I'm kind of pointing to Adam. Sorry, I'm going to show this later. Uh, it's pandemonium. This is here, Limbo's here, Pandemonium is kind of like an offshoot, the, the, the abyss in between. The shape in the middle? Yeah. yeah. It's like halfway in between. It is slightly evil chaos. Yeah, this is. <laughs> it's not one of the cardinal points on the uh, on the uh, uh, the compass. It's uh, it's east southeast. <laughs> it's chaotic, evil chaotic. <laughs> Uh, it might actually, yeah, it's chaotic, evil would be the abyss, and chaotic, yeah, and chaotic. yeah, yeah. <laughs> see, see. Uh, apparently Bart is prattling on about how the winds of pandemonium can drive mortals mad. It's a bleak place. Oh, it, that portal wasn't supposed to go there. Somebody just did something to it. What happens when I stab the portal? That would be something cruel. You know? <laughs> <Bite> you. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Stab the portal to close it. I really want to see her squirm. <laughs> no, who's he talking about? <laughs> the dwarf not there is just fucking riding along, witnessing things in Brennos' head. You can almost feel on your left shoulder the claw, the, like the the horribly unkept, you know, grisly long hands, yeah. long, dirty fingernails just sort of like clink on your armor. A little bit of a weight on your left side. There's just righteous anger. Since entering this chamber, there's just been righteous anger righteous coming from the from the yeah. uh, the platinum blade. Do it. Do it. <laughs> oh, you could let those things in. That's not happening. How does a sword feel about this comment that he made? Uh, the sword is more of an empathic thing, whereas um, the dwarf not there, his, un his uncle, uh, <laughs> uh, Durinka, is much more active in his conversations. One's an aspect of charisma, the other's an aspect of wisdom. <laughs> aspect of crazy. Right, so Barnabas is just stunned. He's talking about things like, I guess he can take mental actions. Can you take mental actions when you're stunned? Uh, I believe no. Okay. He's paralyzed that he can take mental uh, actions. All right. Yeah, it's freedom of movement. Oh, never mind. He paralyzed freedom of movement. All right, well, Barnabas squeaked out the wind. Winds of Pandemonium! <laughs> Something's wrong! Uh, he, can, he knows that when he takes minus 20 on his in checks. <laughs> uh, Quintessa is um, by the telepathic bond. Her and her son are still fighting Knowles one by one as they're coming through. She said there were a couple of tough ones where it took both of them to take them down, but then some weak ones came through, and they're, they're still holding the line. The Melidius, uh, I've got a bunch of Shaken, but I think he's just dead. Yep. Yeah, so we're Shaken him, and his axe basically is amongst the <laughs> is amongst the the corpse piles uh, over here. I think the axe is near Barnabas. But we'll remove the Melidii or the Melidius. Two of hits. You hit him and you kill him twice in two hits. <laughs> uh -huh. Elite Null packs are dead. We'll remove them from the initiative. The horrid antlered beasts. Oh, there's still a few of them running around causing havoc. Uh, let's see where. There's one. This one was staggered, right? Yes. So, like, it's two attacks against Brennos? Yes. 
All right, it's going to use both of those attacks to do bites. It, it's trying to give me cursed wounds? Yeah, it's trying to give you cursed wounds. I'm going to hit it back. Okay, first bite. It's 42. Uh, I hit it first. I'm <laughs> just happy. This is too happy. <laughs> no. Uh, 72 damage after damage reduction. Okay, it's at 172 damage, which I believe if we added. Uh, touch, take a sh 50, shade away from Saber Die. Yeah, yeah, it's touch away from Saber Die. Okay, so uh, AC 42 hit you? Yeah. Uh oh. We're going to have more ouchie boo boos. <laughs> We gotta figure out how to heal this. Ugh. Isn't that a crit range of 17 through 20? Okay, I had to just check to see what the point oh, I thought it was 19 through 20. No, no, its bites are horrible. Uh, okay, 2d6 plus 20. 30. Max damage, 32 damage. Okay, so another, Damn. another 29 damage. Okay. Uh, and then you smacking it, you don't get through. Uh, the DR is already applied. No, no, uh, the blur. Oh, I don't. No, I have to roll. I'm listening. Uh, like yeah. I. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So you you actually got through. You you yep. swiped at a diagonal. It attacks again. You said. Yeah, it's gonna bite you again. Okay. Or try to. AC sixty two. Wow. It not one. Uh, well then. <laughs> it doesn't well, have to hit, right? It just has to attack. It just has to try to attack. <laughs> It's a muffler sword. Okay, it gets 65 damage on the second one. And then 65 is one, seven, it should seven, be like two, three, seven. seven. That one does have to say die. I don't roll one. Rolls a four, and then it's critical miss. It would have missed. Uh, 25, uh, 33 would have missed. Yep. Gain second condition. Yeah, chewing on the lawful blade, it's it's like blah, blah, puking up all over the blade, and it's sick. the stuff that's coming out of it is all the the stuff it's been eating over the last yeah. whoever how how long it doesn't look like it's digesting very well. It's pretty gross. Yeah. Uh, okay, that was one horde antler beast getting his ass kicked by taking his turn. And the others are dead. Okay. No priests. No unconscious. Priests are all unconscious. The Glabrazoo. Is the one dancing? No. Oh, he's still out. He can't dance. No. He's trying to take advantage of this. No! Teleport to here. <laughs> He's going to clip Barnabas. And Widget will take his ready to action. Yeah. Blast the fucking demon okay. with the super crit because it's that's gonna get through here. This is he's just gonna swing. Pick out some of your own size, bud. <laughs> so he was waiting for Eamon to get all <laughs> for an opening, basically. Yep, yep, yep. Uh alright. Yeah, yeah, son of a bitch. All right, uh, plus uh, 30. I'm assuming they see invisible things. Yeah, they've got AC 43. AC 43 hits the Glabrazoo. Hits an image of a Glabrazoo. <laughs> All right, so Barnabas is AC. Barnabas is rocking Cognatogen, a shield, a uh, mirror image. Does it see through mirror images? That's interesting. Okay. Uh, haste doesn't count. Okay. So, Barnabas has AC of 31 stun, or 27. Stunned makes it uh, 25. Um, shield makes it 29. Mutagen makes it 31. So it's 31 before Eamon helps. Eamon's confused. 
Fuck you, Amen. All right, so his AC is 31. I rolled a 4 with the strength damage it took from Cog when he was hopping around. It gets a AC 27. Somehow <laughs> it missed Barnabas. Like it, 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 it grabbed Barnabas, but his armor and, and his protections kept him safe. <laughs> and that's a teleport and a move. So I think that, that demon's done. Okay, and this the slow one, demon. This one's slowed. So, so slow. Staggered, which means two actions in the round instead of three. He can teleport. Uh, yeah, he can come down there, but I don't know if he's doing that, which means he's going to cast a spell. He didn't like that not enough of you were confused, so he's just going to blast. He's going to blurp a confusion. Uh, Where? Down in this group. I would like to see the shape of confusion. Uh, I think confusion's tenter burst. Does he clip Eamon with his confusion spell that he's blurping? <laughs> Fifteen foot first. Which requires a saving throw. <laughs> I can get everyone if I include the other Glabbers here. Sure, that's funny. We, we play confusion tag. As Does a, that as a race. count as an attack? Uh... Because they play confusion tech, so they would know how this works. Any confused character who's attacked automatically attacks its attackers in the next turn, as long as it's still confused when it comes. Uh, yeah. So we just come hither, Damon. Yep. Okay. A confused character will not make attacks of opportunity against a creature that is not already devoted to attacking. So okay. he, Damon cannot do his... Oh, yeah, no, that, that part for sure. Yeah. While he's confused. Okay. Uh, this is a confusion effect that will, will last uh, something like 14 rounds. So um, this is worth making the will save for. The DC is only 22 on this save. Well, and, well, we'll, and we'll go in order of initiative. Okay. So we've got Brenos not in there. Widget. Uh, widget. Okay. Uh, widget. <laughs> we make it with room to spare. Okay. Uh, then it is Cog, Eamon, Barnabas. Uh, almost there. Uh, what's the roll? Uh, another confusion effect. A mind affecting compulsion. Uh, Cog is a plus 24. I'll roll. Don't roll one. Don't roll one. Back. I rolled 11. All right, cool. <laughs> Barnabas has a plus 18. Is Bar oh, when Barnabas makes it. Okay. Nice. Eamon? Eamon has a... A baseball save plus. plus 10. He's got a plus 1 because he's near an ally. Uh, so that's plus 11. And then he's got good hope, so plus 13. Yeah, and he doesn't have the minus 2 because this isn't, like, pure chaos affecting him. It's just a... He makes it. Okay. <laughs> and if that no cleric wakes up right now, he's, conf he's confused. But... <laughs> I'm very he was confused to start with. <laughs> hey, he, oh, let's let's see if the uh, the Glaber Zoo is confused. I don't think he's immune to his own his own friend's tricks. No, he fails. Mm. <laughs> it's the dancing boy. Look at him dance. He's dancing. Look at him dance. All right, the Noel hmm. Barbarian, the one that came and tattled on you guys uh, after getting hit by Brenos and, and was uh, um, forced to drop his weapons, somehow has lasted this long. He is going to roll the confusion. D4. Behavior. Acts normally. Okay. Hmm. Right behind the pole. He pushed his knoll buddy over there. He was climbing. He set up a rope and was climbing down. So he, yeah. he finishes climbing down. All right. He sees Brenos, and he's going to skirt this way, kind of in between the space between the portal and the... Uh, okay. Uh, and he's comes up here. Yeah. Prophet, you need to cast the spells. Get rid of these attackers! <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to try to convince the prophet to do a thing. Why aren't you doing a thing? Why aren't you helping? Yes. No, it's better. Don't don't help. <laughs> okay. Um, the view of the portal has plunged through what you thought was a a mountain-sized 
circular ravine. Mm -hmm. uh, you thought it was darkness, but it turned out to be millions of spiders that you're now going through. Ooh. And you can hear wolf howling amongst the spiders that are carrying upon the wind. And the viewport or the 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 uh, uh, the target of this portal or gate is rapidly going down these uh, these howling chambers beneath the earth, and they're apparently heading towards some sort of crystalline blue light. Were any of you at? No, it was the other party that was there, and Sunny didn't share his memories about that. The Thogrim, okay. A beautiful azure blue light is ahead. So you get the sense from the light that it shouldn't be there. It doesn't quite fit. Valsorin, fighting gnolls. So demon prince and demon prince. So. There is a burbling sound upon the wind, and you hear both Yinagu and some other voice from beyond the portal say in unison, yes, my queen. No, 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 no. <laughs> Purple ladies back there. Brenos. All right. Step one. We're going to use our hasty attack to stab the antler beast thing because it's screw off and <laughs> piss me off. <laughs> what did the Mad Prophet do this round? Uh, on his pit, the winds of wind winded. Oh, okay. Let's back up a second. He just delayed for whatever reason. Or not delayed, he just readied. Okay. His wind of windening has done winded. What do you say? <laughs> <gasps> Oh, 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 the abyss. Oh, we, we're going to his prison. We're not going to his prison. Whose prison? What's going on here? This was not part of the plan. Oh, no. I tell you, Yuriko, your tooth is evil. Your eye is evil. These are your bodies! You are a demon lord! Down the plains! Damn all the plains! You are evil! Remember! Remember who you are, demon prince of gnolls and ghouls! <laughs> well, that's... That's Orcus! Orcus is the prince of ghouls! Shut up, Ed! You know nothing! <laughs> <laughs> Take you a lesson, dwarf! Uh, <clears throat> we're going to greater dispel magic on Bernos. Okay. Gosh, Widget doesn't like people casting greater dispel magic. Okay. <laughs> so I'll spend a mythic point, counter it. Does he have to reach a hand outside of his thing to get the greater dispel magic through? No. Okay. So I won't run up and hit him for it. But yeah, he, he, he look, well, you can go right up and hit him if you want. You can go right into the sphere if you wanted to go right up and hit him. That's right. It's okay. <laughs> uh, no, we're going to uh, just uh, we'll we'll spend a bit of time counter it. Ah, you're back. <laughs> what? You missed me? You thought that was a puzzle? Come on, try something difficult next time. Okay, and then as a swift action, he will. Quicken regular. He did have a true strike prepared. That's right. He, had a true he still strike. has a true strike in the tank. Okay. <laughs> He's got one ready to, to, to zip, zip, zip. Yeah, he'll, he'll zip a thing. So he actually has to zip a thing before he casts the greater. Uh, that's fine. You can do it in the yeah, backwards. Sure. He, well, there's no attack roll for greater spell magic, so it's still in the tank. Okay. Brenner, so you don't have any visible abjuration spells up? Like, you don't have any protections currently? Brenos? Yeah. Like you're not protected against fire or cold or earth or... Yeah. or... 
Uh, Brenos is protected against fire. He's protected against... He's got magic circle against evil. Okay. Uh, he's got... I think that's it for abjuration. He's got pass without trace, but I think he's abjuration. All right. Uh, there's a spell that Chaga knows that is basically uh, a version, uh, an Uki version of... Uh, it's called Gloom Blind Bolts. So we're going to quicken... We already did the quicken true, or the true strike, so we're going to uh, true strike, and I believe it only gets true struck on the first bolt yep. out of three? Yeah. Okay. So there are uh, three negative energy bolts okay. that are flying towards uh, Brenos. Okay. Now, the does he have to reach through the... Nope, he can cast spells through his... Okay. And so the first bolt hits AC 54, touch attack. Yeah. Brenos' second, touch AC is like 11. <laughs> second bolt hits AC 26, touch attack. The third bolt hits AC 37, critical threat. Ooh. Do you have smash from the air? Uh, yeah. Do you have uh, the one damage. that lets you do spells? All right. Uh, these do negative energy damage to the living. Do you have uh, Death Ward up? I don't currently have Death Ward up. Okay. So each of these is going to do 4d6 damage, and the crit will do 8d6. So if I add that up, is 12, 16d6 negative energy damage. Okay. 52. Okay. Nice. How's, how's Brennus doing? He's hurt. Any creature struck by concern. a bolt must succeed a reflex save or become blinded for one round. Okay. So I think that's a DC 23 reflex save three times. Okay. Uh, you right. can't be blind more than one round. It's just... Okay. And uh, right. it's, it's a shadow spell. Uh, would you, you just cast a shadow spell? Maybe just to show you up, or... <laughs> it's not bad. You've been learning. Shut... You might want to shut your eyes, but... <laughs> ah, he's got all this negative energy blasting his eyes. His eyes go... The the, the crystal blue eyes of Brenos go slightly uh, okay. slightly white uh, and... 12, 14, 14, uh, 18, 18, 16, 17, plus 17. Okay. Uh, was 23, you said? 23, yeah. Okay. Uh, the one I fail, I will re-roll using my luck bonus. Okay. Right, like a, a bit of luck? Yep. Okay. Uh, that's worse. Uh, I will spend a... Mythic point? Or do you have a hero point? I'm going to spend my hero point. Right now, so I have a zero point. For a plus I mean, four, is a complete makes it. asshole. Because I want to see. Okay, that you get a face full of negative energy. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah. So uh, for Ahmed, Brenos is uh, before buffs and stuff. He's bloodied. Currently, he's not bloodied, but when he stops raging and being huge and all that shit, <laughs> it'll, be, it'll be bad. I so know. I can. I know now why you've brought me here, Miska, imprisoned by the Wind Dukes. Yes, yes, I understand. Okay, who's. Is this the. This is the spirit of Unigu speaking. The spirit of Unigu seems to be bowing or acquiescing towards the portal when the portal now is viewing upon a perfect hedged prison of law, this kind of angular diamond-shaped thing. So do I go before the spirit of Unigu? As my oh, that's right. Interrupted. Right on, see, yeah. Sure, right. <laughs> well, while he's doing all that, I'd like to like not do the yeah, movie he, thing where you watch them do the bad thing and then be like, oh no, we should <laughs> stop it. <laughs> His reaction... He's reacting right now. Uh, his his speech. Yep. All right. So Brenos is going to kill the horde antler beast ah! with a swing. 
Uh, preferably just the haste attack. Uh, that's a hit, maybe. Uh, it's a miss. That sucks. Okay. I will use my second swing. Uh, the second swing might hit. It does hit. It dies. Um, like 50 damage. Yep. Uh, Brenos has uh, uh, two actions left. He is going to move to the portal. Move to the, the weird portal flush with magic. Yep. Shout that you have no power here! And flush the blade within. Okay. Trying to... Do you have any abilities to try to dispel first the thing that is keeping you from sticking things through the portal, which is widget spell? Do I, do I have any ability to? Yep. Uh, it like at a glance. Uh, so, you know, second. Anything dispel magicy or? So, I. You're fighting widget spell now. Right, yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the energies no, of the I've, of the platinum blade I've, are like struggling against the blade. It's keeping you from uh, touching the gate. I've, I've got what you're what you're what you're throwing down here. Um, break enchantment probably won't do it. Uh, I don't think. Okay. Currently have the ability to. How many points of law do you have with your service to um, um, to deities of two pantheons? So the service, service of deities to two pantheons? Uh, I have currently um, my morality grid. So first off, uh, I am... Worshipping, uh, I've got 31 law points right now. Okay, subtract three, and you've, you've struggled, but the blade is channeling, or your devotion to, the, to, to gods have channeled a dispel magic. Now, you still need to dispel widgets. Okay. Pernicious shadow magic. It's not easy to do. Thing. <laughs> uh, all right, so I'm assuming it's just at my caster level? Uh, it's at your character level. Okay. All right. Uh, 17th level stuff, uh, widget, uh, give me a second. Um, you're holding the blade through, there's all sorts of magic, it's glowing, there's sparks coming off, there's that horrible, like, two lightsabers rubbing against each other. Alright, so. Nice. Um, this spell from widget is... Not a particularly shadow weave spell. It's an yep. abjuration. Yep. So it doesn't get a bonus cast level from that. And he didn't cast it with a mythic point? He didn't. Ca uh, he cast it. No, he cast it with a mythic point. Okay. So that's cast level 16. And then ca his base cast level is actually too higher. So it's cast level 18. So uh, we're going to spend a mythic point to bump that die roll. To beat Widget's spell, because Widget's an 18th cash level. Right, and service. you just need a one. I need a one. Been, yeah. ah, and then Breno sees it's not working, and he's ah, yells, and mythic power is flowing through. I'll, get, I'll put it. Get, get that. All right. <laughs> Portal is now open, and Breno sees that inside this perfect hedge of law, there is a creature that is not of law. And I'm going to show you the creature that Breno sees. Imprisoned. Luck with the sanity save. Oh, I got madness. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> Imprisoned in this hedge of law, at first you thought you were looking at this weird two um, two wolves when you realize the wolf heads are attached to each shoulder of the creature and there's a, a muscular man in the center whose body ends up in a weird spider-like body, like a like a drider. Up there? Okay. Oh. What the fuck? That looks like... <sighs> you hear the, the baying of wolves and the, um, 
and the chittering of spiders, okay. all part of the same mad noise. He's inside this hedge of abs, absolute beautiful, like, diamond energy, this azure blue that is like a gemstone in the dark howling of, of these caves. You realize that the moving darkness are the millions of spiders that are kind of all around him. You see every once in a while like a wolf body kind of pop up, like like white. Like there are wolves moving amongst the spiders, or the spiders are pretending to be the wolves. Or maybe there's actual creatures that are part spider, part wolf. It, like the, the roiling madness, and this creature inside of this gemstone looks translucent. Okay. Kind of suspended there, like he's in he's in pain, or maybe he's sleeping, or uh, but it, it it's just you see a bunch of madness. I would like to yell at the madness to assert dominance. Ah! <laughs> you also see reaching in is the spirit of Yinigu. Searching dominance. <laughs> I submit. I submit. I don't know how to help. <laughs> and there's some talking that Brenos knows. It's like when gods speak to you, there's others may hear like interference. Like there's. There's something speaking to Yinigu's spirit. Okay. Just yell at the whole mess. We did. <sighs> uh, Yinigu did start to whisper something. Uh, to the people in the chamber. Uh, he's not talking to Brenos, he's not talking to any of the companions, he's talking to others. Well, that's a problem. Uh, but something had talked to Yinigu, like there's a chain of commands happening. Is <clears throat> so, okay. Cool. That guy looks pretty badass. Oh, it is super cool. Look at them packs. Look at them biceps. That wolves for shoulders. For wolves for shoulders. Yeah. Uh, uh, are you? Uh, I don't think you can teleport into the uh, into a prismatic sphere if there's one of the lights of blocks. Widget teleportation. Uh, all right. So, um, we. There's a confused Glapazoo <laughs> near you. Okay. Uh, well, yeah, that, that's the, the least of the concerns. <laughs> uh, okay, Widget is going to... Limited Wish... I think I can Limited Wish the... Uh, it'd be a fifth. Undo harmful effects of many spells, such as Insanity. Uh, insanity is a 7th circle spell. Power, word, stun is a 8th. Uh, so, can I limited wish the power, word, stun away from Barnabas? To begin any sorcerer spell, 6 or lower. Undo the harmful effects of in, of insanity. So insanity is what? Eighth. Seventh? It's an eighth. No, insanity. Oh, sorry, insanity seventh. Power word stun is eighth. <laughs> it's in the... I don't think so. Yeah, well. Because uh, insanity is seventh, and it's saying the DC of this spell is seventh, and it's just... You need wish to do that. So, yep. All right. So, uh, widget is going to just sidle himself up forward. He's just ignoring all the confused people. <laughs> uh, and I think we're just starting to tear down 
Mr. Gorbachev, <laughs> take down this wall. <laughs> Uh, we'll this round. I, I will uh, walk and cast. Spend two mythic points. One for Kona Cold. One for a gust of wind. Oh God! You're like stripping, stripping both layers off. <laughs> All right. So I think in that order means that two of the prismatic colors are gone. The first being. Uh, the red color is gone with the Cone of Cold, and automatically the Gust of Wind uh, gets rid of the orange layer, and we're, we're at yellow uh, being the next. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah! Shadow Cast out of David in a moment! I'll be seeing you in a moment, too. You're not going to walk up to you. God. So Barnabas right now is... Stunned. Standing beside Eamon, who's confused. Okay, so there is a problem that I am forgot about. Not a problem, it's a good thing. Um, the cloak that I have gives everyone the same bonus to saves as morale that I get from a bard song bonus. So everyone has a plus five moral within 30 feet of me. I don't know if that affects Eamon or that's too, lo too late. It's, too, it's, it's too, too late, late and it's also nowhere near enough. He, he did not miss by a little bit. He missed by a lot. Yeah. So for Barnabas... Uh, we need him in action, so uh, the only thing I have to deal with that is I can use the heal, one of the heal uh, abilities from the cloak on him. Now, I don't know if I can actually do that, because it says... An ally can grab edge of the rope to get benefits of a heal spell. Yeah, you can spend your actions to do this. Can I do that? Can I spend yeah. my actions to get him out of it? Yeah, you spend a standard action basically putting Barnabas' hand in your cloak. You cast a heal spell. Heal spell <laughs> does get rid of the condition stunned, which is how you... Uh... So standard action to do that? Re look at remove paralysis. Does that also get rid of stunned? Because you may have been able to wish for a remove paralysis spell... Um, so you free one creature from paralysis or related magic. Okay. In including spells and effects that cause one to gain the staggered condition. Not, not, not stunned. Yeah. Okay. So it would have been a heal, which is a six level cleric, which is beyond, yeah. which is just beyond the ability yeah. of limited yeah. wish. Okay. All right. They're, yeah. They we're very close. We're rubbing up against the, uh, yes. all right. So yeah, you, you heal Barnabas of his seven damage and... And fucking finally, <laughs> he says out loud, as he's able to. Uh, he's over here, so. Yep. Uh, I'm gonna take the rest of my actions. This thing is. Uh, the first thing has are down. I'm running low on mythic. I still have actions. <laughs> I still have a haste and an attack. All right, and then then we need to disintegrate and a pass wall and a magic missile. I got magic missiles. I've got disintegrate. I've got two attacks left. <laughs> I got the disintegrate and how many images does this thing have? And I got the dispel. Four. Four. Okay. Uh, I haste and I flurry. All right, flurry and I haste. Okay. You gotta do the daylight. I ain't doing that shit. Pisses her off. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to roll my attacks. Okay, I just confused is not part of the Medusa wrath. Uh, no, yeah, I was uh, checking. <laughs> most of them are, but confused is one. Not that one. Uh, stunning Fist? Yeah, do you think you could do that? Uh, not 20? Well, let's see if I hit him. He has, I don't know how many mirrors. Yeah, right, I got it. Image. I really get rid of that image. Okay. I have another attack. Oh, 29 plus 4. 
42. Image. Image. You're, you're whittling them down. You're in there somewhere, demon. No, he should have my attention. I should have his attention now, right? Yeah, you've attacked him, so he's going to attack you back. Good. Okay. You do your dimensional dance, and all the confused creatures can gang pile you. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm out of actions, so let him... Uh... Flurry, flurry and haste? Oh, sorry, I do have another attack. Uh, yep. Yeah. Uh, it's an image. Twenty-nine. This could be a one. It's not good. Okay, there's yeah. two of them standing in front of you. One of them, you know, is an image, but it turns to face you. Uh, that was caught. Good. Rifts the tail. Um, I, I think that was useful. <laughs> Can hear caster. Heal. No. Nope. How the hell did you get rid of Confused? I'm seeing if Zoteo has any of those spells that you need to bring down the wall. Um, I mean, you can Mythic point your way through it, but that's bloody expensive. Zoteo is not a Mythic character. He can't do it. It's between Barnabas and uh, um, Yeah, Midget. I don't think Zateo has any of those spells uh, needed to bring down that wall. If now, now what? What? He, what doesn't, he doesn't have disintegrate. He's a bard. He doesn't have pass wall. Doesn't have magic missile. I don't think I took daylight for him. If bards can do daylight, dispel magic or greater spell magic. He says, "I can get the last layer. Let me know when." I think he's going to go fly around to see what Brennos is doing. He sees a knoll there, and the knoll, for some reason, is holding out his hand towards the uh, the prismatic barrier. What's the spell? He's saying in Nolish, give it to me, give it to me. No. Zateo comes over, give you what? <laughs> Wait, where's the knoll? No. Oh, 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 okay. I see him now. <laughs> Everyone looked dead. I was like, where? <laughs> yeah, he bites and bites and bites. Uh, I don't know. Haste attack bites again. Oh, oh, oh. just. It's Teo with his bite. Which is considered a plus five weapon right now. It's plus. Bites are time and a half for dragons. Uh, yep. So. 15, 20, that would be 66 plus 60 damage, 3 bites, 79 damage, minus 3, 76, yeah, he, he tears this null hulk apart, 7, uh, 76, it's close, 100 and... 16, but with the 40 non-lethal that Cog gave him, uh, he incapacitates the null. Nice. Picks him up, shakes him around, and <laughs> drops him down. Mm. He, he looks. He looks at Brenos. Normally, the dragon is much bigger than you, Brenos, but <laughs> huge ass Brenos with a giant, giant greatsword. Mm. Um, be careful! Don't touch! Don't touch the sphere yet. Hmm. What is that? <gasps> what is that? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Eamon. let's roll a d4 for Eamon. Come on, Eamon. Don't sack about birds. You'll never hear the end of it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mark. Two. Two is do nothing but babble incoherently. Uh, it does what the master says. It does what the master <laughs> says. It does yeah, what... As he's pulling flaking skin <laughs> off that's regenerating, and he actually snaps off one of his own horns. Oh, well, fuck. Snap out of it, Eamon. <laughs> Just don't touch him. Time. Barnabas was about to hit him with the cane, but then realized, like, no, 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 no. <laughs> that's probably really bad. Hey, look, the Mad Prophet. 
Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Would you just? Okay. Okay, quickly rush to make sure my baby stops crying. I'll be right back. Shouldn't take a second. Okay. Understood. He's casting a spell. Spellcraft. Uh, he is casting a telekinesis. Okay. Uh, 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 I see anything wiggling. <laughs> nope. Is, uh, who's we? Uh, Widget. Widget does not see anything wiggling. Widget needs, like, if Barnabas, for whatever reason, stops playing nice, he needs his mythic points to bring down the thing. He's just, he doesn't have enough. So he's... Yeah. Okay, telekinesis, what, what, who's going where, bud? Okay, something, uh, only Brennos is a Teo see this, something from inside the sphere cracked through the uh, the prismatic sphere and went shooting through the portal. Uh, Brenos and Zateo think it was a tooth. The tooth goes straight in through the portal. It continues it, it continues its way. And it actually sticks into the prison like like it was a like a javelin thrown against a window. <laughs> You can see it kind of cracked a little bit, just ever so slightly. It, the, the tip of it, you have to be in there to go, look, there's lots going on, lots yeah. of movement, but it's yeah, stuck yeah. in the prison. Yeah. Miska's eyes open when that happens, like, <laughs> snaps open, is looking around. The wolves begin to begin to move, and his, it is, uh, his skeletal body begins to move. It's like, this thing's kind of ghostly. It's not quite... Emaciation will do that to you. <sighs> All right, uh, the Mad Prophet casts standards to action. He still has like uh, move left. Do say, do say, <gasps> prison. Laws prison. <laughs> I understand now. He was the first demon lord, and he will be free. Yes, Shirago, you will not be alone anymore. Barnabas, no longer stunned. What the fuck have you been <laughs> like? Like, what's going on here? <laughs> what are you fucks allowed to happen? <laughs> I was in the hallway for 18 <laughs> fucking seconds. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's, he puts blame on everyone. All right, yeah. what's the next spell that needs to be cast on the sphere? Uh, there's a disintegrate. Uh, and does Barnabas have the ability to conjure any spell? So Barnabas does have the ability to conjure any spell, and it's in the level with which he could do that. Yeah, he's got arcane. He's got wild, uh, wild arcana as yeah. an archmage. So I think he comes around the corner, and he's got like. A He's used almost no mythic in this yeah, yeah. in this dungeon. Yep. So he he'll step away from Amon because Amon's confused right now. <laughs> yeah, and he's gonna whip off a disintegrate and a pass wall. Oh, fuck you, there, fucking madman. <laughs> <laughs> okay, two more two more layers peel off. Um, the yellow has been removed from the prismatic sphere, and the green. Only leaving three colors: blue, indigo, and violet. It's very, yeah. uh, very dark-looking swirl. Okay. 
the Mad Null Priest must be casting spells on himself or doing something in there. He, with whatever. He, maybe another quick infantry strike. Don't know. Contessa wants to know if you guys need any help. <laughs> you wouldn't happen to have a daylight spell, would you? <laughs> Try to get through this prismatic prismatic sphere. It's kind of being, he's being, you know. Not prepared. She says. Hmm. Uh, she, she's a war priest. And Daylight is part of the war priest. Uh, yeah. Sunny's got one. Oh yeah. Yeah, I just. Sunny's so, so leaving like home without one. Yep. Okay. Check the cog's head item. You want to shove your head in it? <laughs> He's got a head <laughs> item that casts some kind of... Checking, checking, checking. Alright, so that's Contessa. Horrible antlered beasts. Are they all dead? I hope so. Major crown of blasting. Yeah, they're all dead. Okay. Searing light. Priest. Yeah, it's not. Searing, searing light do it? No. This is like very specific. Normal barbarian. We come to the glabrous ears. All right. I used to try. One is confused, mm -hmm. and the last person to attack him was Cog, so he's just going to all out full round attack Cog. I, I get to attack him as he attacks me. <laughs> oh, it's another broken character, sorry. <laughs> Gotta be more barbarian. <laughs> no, sorry, you only do two or three to hundred damage around. It's all right. I have a fifty-six AC. I have a fifty-six AC. Unstoppable. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right, so two pincers, two claws, and a bite, all at fifteen foot reach. So yeah, he can reach you. Uh, he's gonna power attack because he thinks he can do it. Um, okay. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five at 1d20 plus 24 minus one for the, uh, for the strength damage he's got. 30, 34, 29, 27, and 40. All right, that guy, Brazu, is snapping and trying, no. to get, trying to get a cog. Cog's dancing around, twisting in the air, and pushing off against the fiery, uh, uh, the fiery uh, uh, drum. And this guy, Brazu, who's slowed, doesn't have a way to unslow himself. He hasn't done his dance yet. But he can't as a full round action. All right. So he simply sees that Cog is flying around and being annoying. And he's going to dispel magic on Cog. He's a 14th level caster. Dispels 20th level magic. Right, how many does he dispel? Like your highest uh, spell, highest circle of spell. Or one. Okay. It'd probably be freedom of movement in your stop check. Unless there are any other fourths. Death Ward is also fourth. Oh, um, delayed consumption. Death Ward came from a delayed consumption. So death word's on, but it was because of dead consumption. But I think delayed consumption is already used, right? Delayed consumption just allows you to activate a potion that you that you've drank. So uh, if you've activated, then it can be dispelled. It's, it's also gone. fifth. So your delayed consumption is a fifth. It goes first. Okay, so the delayed consumption goes away, which has your death word in it, unless you've already activated your death word. Which is it? I activated my death word when we saw those. Shadow thing. <laughs> okay, so Death Ward. So I've got freedom Death Ward, Freedom of Movement, Greater Invis. Okay, you have Greater Invis up? Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, give me a D3, D3 in that order. Freedom. Freedom, okay. movement freedom of Movement's okay. gone. <laughs> oh, I see you. The glasses are just laughing. <laughs> Top of the fifth round, Demon Prince. Uh, the Demon Prince is the thing inside of the... We're just going to rename him slightly to the Prince of Demons. Mm. 
with the, the spirit of the prince of demons trapped inside of the wind duke or the lords of aqua uh, inside this shell of law just looking down at the crack that the tooth of Yinagu made. He reaches out with a finger and pulls the tooth through. You notice that the crack immediately closes behind it and the cracks basically pulse with a blue energy and are, uh, it's, it, the prison is sealed. Mm -hmm. He holds up the tooth. He looks at his left head, his left wolf head. And has jammed the tooth into the brain of the left wolf head. The other wolf head is howling as he is currently coup de grind his own wolf head. Val Soren, fighting Knowles. <laughs> What'd you do? I found Knowles in the hallway. <laughs> Watch Demon Prince coup de grace his own self. Demon Prince, he gets to act twice in every <laughs> in every combat round. So he, as that other wolf head is howling, he then rips off, like almost arm ruffles, and rips off the head. He then takes Yinagu's tooth and jams it into the into the decapitated head. At this point in time, he's howling. His other wolf head is howling, and you see a swirl of color returning to um, Miska's form, as if he was ghostly before. But now there's blood pouring in, and the spirit of Yinagu is now being pulled into the portal. And in the minuscule, tiniest little crack that has remained, goes into the shoulder of Miska. Like into his tooth. Brenner Zatello looks at you like, what the fuck? You're supposed to close the back hole! <laughs> No, uh, Widget's magic was in the way, and your turn's coming up. Brenos. Got some shit right there, guys. Still try to close the... Actually, I'm switching my judgment to uh, purity and... Uh, give me a second here. And healing. <laughs> Miska's wolf hand will be reborn! It's actually piercing and purity. Okay. Uh, so concentration and caster level as well as purity, which is saving throws. <laughs> yeah. You're attacking the portal? Yeah. Try to close it? Yeah. Okay. Um, you hear the dwarf not there cackling in your head. So mean. It will hurt us so much. <laughs> This time, there is a colossal force of energy as the lawful blade, the platinum blade, the blade that once belonged to Bahamut, who is now carried by Brenos into battle mm -hmm. with an entity inside the blade of, mm -hmm. of, uh, of law and good, clashing against a portal that should be going to limbo, but through some, uh, through some great, great and powerful, perhaps even deific or demonic magic, pointed to Miska's realm instead, or maybe that's just what happens when you connect to raw chaos, weird things are malleable. You go somewhere. You go somewhere. But you're witnessing something, you think that there is flesh returning just to the left, to the left head of Miska, and it's suspiciously more like a, like a, a hyena, hyena than a wolf head. I'm gonna to attempt to intimidate it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you've you've hit the so you're you're, you're you're attacking the the portal with the blade, right? Yep. yep. You can feel the chaos running off of the blade. It's kind of arcing everywhere, 
and you hear the woman in the blade once again scream in pain. Um, this is a 17th level effect to open up a gate. Okay. So you need to dispel 17th level magic. Okay. Oh. Uh, Do you have a hero point? So my... Uh, Do you have a hero point? I don't have a hero point. Why not? Adam's fucking up. You're doing great, buddy. You're doing great. I'm going to use my other bit of luck for the day. Okay. So what god are you calling upon? Uh, Asterion today. This is the messenger of This of is the, the messenger of dragons. Okay. Asterion, chaotic, <laughs> good. Uh, wait a second. It might be chaotic neutral. Uh, this this might be a, a slight... Uh, uh, chaotic, neutral, Asternian, the messenger of Io. Learning, invention, and pleasure. So, so he... <laughs> what am I doing here? <laughs> I'm assuming he still likes to exist, though. <laughs> <So the thing. laughs> I'm just looking at what, what home plane... Oh, he, li he lives with all the other dragon gods. Okay. <laughs> Weird. Mount Olympus. <laughs> Mythic point? Oh, no, I, I got it. 16th level? Uh, 24th level. level. 24, okay. Um, you see as Yinagu's form is flowing through, he, he looks over his shoulder, he looks angry at that you're, you're trying, you're trying to... Give the, the fuck you eyes back! There's something happening with the sword as the dwarf not there is cackling in your mind. So cruel! So cruel! Not the time! <laughs> oh, but it is! You feel his hand go over yours and push the blade further in, like it's causing more pain, needlessly, as, as the portal is beginning to shut. So cruel. For the clay are good. <laughs> cruel to be kind in the right measure. He's hoping this one can't hear him. <laughs> okay, Brenos, um, despite the fact that Yinagu is barking spells back to keep the, to keep the portal open, Yinagu is getting sucked into the prison of law. There's a wave that hits that the dwarf not there helps you with because you acquiesce to his desire to do an appropriate level cruel act. You have, through exposing the sword to continuous, painful, evil, and chaotic energies, forced the being, who is now lying helpless in front of the portal outside of the sword. I'll put her token on the map. Uh, the Platinum Lady has been expunged from yeah, the sword. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is a side quest? <clears throat> Uh, ma'am? <laughs> she said, oh, she like, it looked like she was like screaming and then yeah. she plunked out of the sword and the sword, the sword is best when there's something inside. Oh no. What would you like there? Choose. There are only two options. Bit of me. Okay. Or one who has admired you from afar. And you glance over at Zateo. Oh no. If it's between him and her, it's easy. Yeah. Uh he's going in. Sam's <laughs> like, what is this? What is that thing? What is he doing to you, Nico? <laughs> like, like he's... This is wrong, Venice! This is wrong! 
by the stars is what he says when he sees the the platinum lady like lying on the ground. Okay, Brenos will reach over and offer Riff Rosito the blade. Yeah, you, you still have the blade in the portal. There's still two gods and oh, a 17 level story. magic. And you pouring your spell yeah. in, and then she's leaving, and you're like, if something doesn't go into the blade, it, this will fail. Yeah. The closing the portal will fail. Yeah. It, there's too many forces there. Okay. And the dwarf not there is offering to sunder a bit of his essence and stick it in the blade. <sighs> Everything you hit is going to go crazy. Well, we need <laughs> to close crazy. the portal. Like the portal needs to be closed. That's there's no other options than the, the portal. Portal must close. <laughs> so, no good deed goes unpunished. How do we close it? <laughs> I need a powerful spirit in the blade. Tyus Ateo is like trying to bless the blade. Yes. <laughs> It's kind of not really. <laughs> he will use his hero point to act out of turn. Okay. Come closer. Still. He goes forward. He he tries to. He put a claw. He puts a claw on his blade. There's a surprised look. He looks over your shoulder. There's a grin. Then he looks grim. I will do it. Praise I. I will. <laughs> Riff, i.e. Sateo. It's now empowering your blade. Did he drop anything? <laughs> no, no, he didn't. I'm just, I'm just checking. <laughs> you could hear the dragon roar through the blade, and it, it's like he's somehow doing a breath weapon right as he was going into the blade, as this horrible gout of acid sprays all over the place, finally puncturing through, and finally the portal <laughs> closes. <laughs> oh, I'll deal with you. What the fuck did you do? Do you know what I've gone through to get here? No matter, I still have his eye. Oh, dude. <laughs> Time to bring it down, boys. <laughs> The dwarf lot there, you just see, just receding, laughing, giggling. Uh, the the platinum lady is still there, right? Yeah, she's crumpled yeah. up on the ground, passed out from the chaotic energies that she's been exposed to. Do I have any actions left? Uh, uh, did you you had a standard left to do the the spell, basically? Yeah. So I, I don't think so. I think you okay. I think you spent the ball. Now, how many actions before you did the dispel? I a uh, move. So you've got your haste tag. I'm not going to stab her. Take her out, man. <laughs> Could you have used your your uh, your quick runner to get over there? Uh, I didn't have to get over there. I was already over there. I used I could have used the quick runners to 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 change my to change my thing to be piercing, which is part. Yep. yep. Okay. I uh, that still gives me a haste attack, or it gives me an extraction. I want to pick up the platinum lady. Okay. Like I don't want her just sitting on the battlefield. Yeah, you, 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 sh you shift your blade, uh, uh, holding on to the platinum sl uh, sword with one hand, and you're gonna scoop her up. Okay. Yeah, she's she's some sort of maybe Azamar or angel. Um, she's got wings. I was ex thought I'd be more dragony. She might have really, really fine scales along, along kind of like the soft parts of, uh, of her neck. Uh, maybe claws, maybe some sort of dragon blood, but yeah, they, she's basically not in any fighting shape. She's not in fighting shape, but we're... A heal up. spell on the way! <laughs> she almost became conscious when you picked her up, but then she saw Brennus, and then she sort of, like, allowed herself to, to okay. pass out. Like, there was, there was trust there. All right. Even though you just finished your cruel... Cruel I'm, deed. Wow, you son of a bitch. All right, <laughs> <laughs> What is going to be the next cruel deed that's asked for? Oh, we need you to sever this blade from gods altogether. Oh, wouldn't that be cruel? What would? <laughs> I think that was a level-appropriate cruel deed. 
yeah, this is this is the biggest off giving levels the gods get really demanding. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, All right, uh, that was uh, my favorite pip of the of the fight so far. All right, uh, the spirit of Unigu. No, he's he's currently reforming as the left shoulder of Miska, the fir- the first prince of the Tanari. Who's going to be the right shoulder? <sighs> We're gonna have to bring the legends back to deal with this shit. Get the band back together. Because <laughs> this time Miska's not. All right, Scoop. Miska's not going to be a single demon prince. He'll be the. Demon Prince Triumvirate or something like that. Widget! Uh, so, uh, Magic Missile. <laughs> <laughs> bringing, down, bringing down that, uh, that barrier? Yep. And... Or one of the colors of the prismatic barrier? Yes. Blue. Okay, so it's now got two colors left, indigo and violet. Okay, uh, one second. I need to... Magic missile. Might be a really pathetic light spell. Being a shadow caster. Uh, although, wait a sec. It's negative on... Cannot cast. Don't know why I can't. Like, I cannot make light. Um, not even with Mythic. So we will ready a dispel magic. Okay. Yeah, given Zateo is no longer on the battlefield. Yeah. Cog. Cog. Well, let's put this thing out of misery. Stunning fist. To be fair, Kratos <laughs> never spent a, a, a leadership feed to get Zateo, right? Like, no, was, no, he didn't. This is like. Me hey. dangling a possible cohort hey, in front of guy. me. Yeah, he's going to Oh, I don't know what this is going for you. You think I want you in my... You think I want you every time I swing around and it's like, oh, ooh, did I accidentally get one of the civilians? <laughs> oh, how do you feel about this? <laughs> oh, it's hard to be balanced these days. <laughs> so the searing light won't do anything against that last barrier, right? One of the barriers, right? There's a daylight barrier, and then after the daylight barrier, there's a uh, dispel magic barrier. I believe right. you have to take them down in order. So, you need a daylight. Now, I have a, I have a ring with dispel magic. It's a, counter, a ring of counterspell with dispel magic greater in it. Would that okay. work? Well, next time somebody next time somebody dispel magic greater you, you say, I use my ring to counterspell it. Uh, It's spare. So you don't have it on? I don't have it on. I have it. But I don't have it on. I don't know if it's useful for taking it off, but um, for this action, let's kill this Glaber Zoo. <laughs> Before it's like, let's not die. Do, do you want to do it? Yeah. All right. Want to uh, slap that one in the face and then go kill the one that's casting shit at us? Yeah, he's going to hop here. Boop. <laughs> Boop. Boop. And we'll see where end what I end up. But there's a cup like two or three images here, and two or three images here. D uh, twenty plus twenty nine. Now, now, Eamon, I'm not even here. Don't you worry about a thing. <laughs> oh, Barnabas! Crap. Out of it, then you'll remember everything. <laughs> About how embarrassed, how embarrassing you are. <laughs> Fifty-seven and forty-two. He has image, a um, image and then hit. Okay. So that hit. Oops, a sec. That hit is gonna do this much damage. It's not sneak. Right? Uh, there is a sneak because I'm using my, I my, did my jump. Oh, I see. Okay. So I, I flank with myself. Oh, the one up here or the one down here? Both. I'm, I'm attacking. I jumped. I put a couple of images around the guy down there who's confused. And okay. then a couple, oh, there he is. Thanks, man. He's me. Then there's an image. Yeah, perfect. So he's getting a couple of flurries until I get done with them. All right. So 87 damage. This is the northern one or the southern one? The northern one, the confused okay. one down here, up here. 87, all right. And two more strength. Cool. 
four strength and 137 damage. So that was a flurry. Uh, yeah, it doesn't it doesn't impact him. Okay, uh, I'll do. Um, how much damage does he have? Does he, how, how bad off does he look? He's bloodied now. Shit, I need another flurry. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll flurry. Forty and forty-one. Hit. They both hit. Okay. Fourteen. Four. Two. Four. That's eighty. So eight. Uh, one hundred and seventy-two. That kills him. Okay. So, attack, attack. There's, my there's, hop. A, there's a blurring flurry as you hop between dimensions to to hit the thing in all directions, seemingly at once. And then, and this one is technically staggered, which means I think you get Medusa Strike on your last attack on him. My man, Stunning Fist as well. This is not flurry because you don't flurry in all three attacks. That's right. You get two attacks and that uh, at your lowest attack rate, and then a haste attack at your lowest. So you get three attacks in. Uh, I, I have the two Medusa strikes. You Love. can't apply Medusa during your haste attack. Flurry, flurry, flurry. I flurried twice on the on the top on the first one, and then I hopped. Sorry, I hopped and I flurried twice on the first one. Then I'm going to. Um, it's not gonna. Then there's no Medusa strike on the guy in the bottom. Does Medusa only have happen when you're flurrying? Um, it doesn't say so. No, you you can do one more. You get two attacks on this guy with your last attack in the round, and then you get a haste attack. You can do it three times. Uh, um, because sorry, I'm getting two from Medusa. Is that what you're saying? Because I've already done two attacks up here. I only have one more attack. Yeah, in the haste. That's two attacks. And then that first, that last attack in the round, your third action, you get an extra attack because you Medusa. So I, uh, hold on. I, I'm So I jump, which is one action. Oh, I see. I flurry, I flurry, and then I have a haste attack. This is my haste. Okay, you only get one attack then. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, okay. I forgot that your jump is actually an action. My jump isn't, yeah. I wish it was free. <laughs> uh, 32. I don't know if that hits him or not. He might have images still, actually. He has one image. Um, that's the Brock. Uh, 32 is his AC. He's a stunning fish. Get, gets rid of the image. OK, that's cool. There is a feat called Quicken Spell-like Ability. Although you're, yep. I think your thing is a supernatural ability, so there there might be a monster power that could uh, that could speed up your. That would be cool. An extra action. All right, so you hit you hit that Glabrizu's last line of defense, and he doesn't want he doesn't want anymore. Mm -hmm. he doesn't want to be near. Uh, Zateo. <clears throat> This is most strange. You hit Brenos ears. I don't disagree. <laughs> <laughs> I always thought there was a dragon inside the sword. Oh, <laughs> well, there is. How you doing, bud? <laughs> the platinum lady should be protected. I've got her. Assuming she cannot protect herself. If she's had a long day, she could probably use an up. <laughs> Eamon. Four. And with some bait and switch. I feel like you got catfish. <laughs> Acts normally. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all right. I hate <laughs> Oh, no, you're not. You stay the fuck over there until you think about what you've done. <laughs> Get closer to someone else. Uh, Actually, Eamon would. He would get closer to someone else, so he's not the closest to Barnabas. So Barnabas isn't the closest to him. Uh, Eamon can get rid of 
a bunch of conditions on self, but that's not one of them. I'm just checking to see if he's got... Uh, Yeah, he's kind of. I guess he Eamon would act normally, fly up and fight with Cog. Yep. Or... Okay. There's an AOL. Well with... <laughs> yeah. As long as he tries to snip him. He's 32. No. He's confused, so now he has to attack that creature. Yeah. So so it actually he would end up here. Yeah. Because it would have been when the AO occurred and then yeah. he would. Just... <laughs> the rest of his actions, he spends attacking the Glyphazoo. See, I told you you're no good. Look at you go, you horrible, confused <laughs> monkey. You weak willed, pathetic. <laughs> Barnabas, you've got serious problems. Leave him alone. He's doing great. Oh, you could have fucking set up the flank. <laughs> uh, AC thirty one. Um, he's flanked. He's got. He 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 counts as flanked. And then AC thirty one. Does he from that direction? From I does anything that I attack is considered flanked for my. Uh, um. Uh, what do you call it? Allies. Let me okay. confirm that for you. Let me confirm it. Confirm. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It's uh, AC thirty ones. Uh, it would be back. a thirty. It would be a thirty-three. Is it the AC of the lab is thirty-two? Right, flank from all squares until the end of next turn. So does that apply to allies? Dimensional savant. Well, then you provide flanking from all squares you attack from. Flanking starts from the moment you attack until the rest of your end of your, until the uh, start sorry, of your next it turn. Sorry, it would be thirty-two without the flank because of I'm using the plus four bard song with plus. Yeah, five you bar still bar. need to set up flanks though. You you can effectively flank with yourself. And with multiple allies when using the feet, you provide flanking from all squares you attack from. Right. While using yeah, you to from the squares you attack from. Flanking. So that's my savant. Yeah. So he's not flanking. He missed. He's not flanking. No. He. Uh, uh, it's the plus five parts on. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Then that that yeah. that gets. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so sixty damage minus dr. Oh, two times. Uh, yeah. Uh, two drs. Oh, sorry. Uh, do you have images that left? Nope. None. None. Okay. Cool. All right, took forty damage. No, I mean you still need you still need to be in flanking position. In an actual position. positions. Yeah, but all your all of your your images uh, provide flanks. provide provided that they attack. That's also interesting. Provided that the oh. images attack. Flanking starts from the moment you make attack to the start of your next turn. You can effectively flank with yourself and multiple allies. Yeah, okay. Okay. So there's no salt. Uh, you guys waiting on me? Uh, no. I don't think so, no. No, I was just re rereading this. It one. was, uh, Eamon finished, it's now the Mad Prophet. So, the Mad Prophet is going to pout and then not do anything aggressive. So we're at Indigo Barrier? Yeah. Yeah, pretty soon our spells will start going through his fucking mythic barrier. <laughs> or whatever this thing is. It's currently that it stops all spells. So. Oh, if he's mythic, I'm thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> I want to get that head. I want to put it on my shoulder. <laughs> put it on my head as a hat. <laughs> it's my double hat. Okay, there's a. Uh, it's got a ready to action. 
wish you to die in this adventure, sir. Stop. <laughs> One of us? Do I have to do everything that my fucking self? Shadow caster. <laughs> he will spend his mythic point for the daylight. Okay. Um, and Widget will uh, have his ready dispel magic go off. All right. Um, you guys have uh, seen visibility up? Yep. Okay. You yep. don't see anything there but this horribly messy altar. Okay. Uh, the, the priest is not seen. Perception. I'll give you guys perception checks if you roll it. Uh, I'll roll it in a second. I'm just trying yeah. to keep the... You can't fool me. I know you're there, you fuck. <laughs> So his stealth and your perception is one final smart. And he's right there for the altar. Uh, the DC is forty plus distance. Okay. He's hovering about four feet uh, so, off the so ground. So, Brenos has a plus four from, so, but Brenos does see. Okay. Um, yeah, the, there's a, an invisible creature floating about five feet off the ground in front of the altar, and it looks like they just stuffed something into a bag. Uh, the ready to action goes off. Uh, his ready to action was when all, when the, the walls go down, he casts a quicken teleport. Okay. A bunch of fucking anchor! Or his <laughs> Just... Counter it. <laughs> what, 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 let me do. Let me count because Widget has how many, one point. How many left. do you have left? Widget, can you counterspell a thing when you can't see the person? Well, I guess he's uh, casting and making verbal, so yeah. yes. Uh, the DC of the spell to understand what he's doing is five worse because you can't see him. So it's twenty plus double spell level, which is DC thirty. Okay. To know it's a teleport. So I could get this. I could fail this. Yeah. <clears throat> 35. Okay, so you know he's doing a quick and teleport. Okay. I will sacrifice a fifth circle spell and a mythic point to make him... And you have mythic points and fifth circle spell? I've got two mythic points left. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, fuck (laughs) it! I hate you! You still can't see him. Uh, No, but uh, Barnabas can see him. And he's still here. So, uh, let me just take off my mythic point, because... Dimension of anchor, anyone? <laughs> yeah, Barnabas knows what square the invisible creature is. In. Yes. Yeah. So he can target it with, like, uh, creature, number of creature types to The 50-50 miss, yeah. Uh, it, like, um, things that don't have attack rolls, I think, just he gets them, because he knows what square they're in. Yeah. So, uh, he's got something called Explode Head. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's any good. Oh, he used a swift action to cast the the, the daylight yeah, spell. Yeah, because he doesn't have that. He doesn't have that on his list. All right. Uh, so I, I I just it's I know Barnabas used it once and it was funny, so we're just going to use it. Explode head. Um. Uh. uh wait a sec. Uh. It takes one d six points per caster level, maximum twenty d six. Fortitude save half. Makes the head explode. Oh, okay, that's that's not quite the. Give me a second. It's good against like a oh, bunch well. of zombies. It, it's fun. Uh, it's it would have a high save DC, which is useful. Uh, I'm just checking to see if there's like. Dimensionally anchoring him, which he also has prepared, he can just do is or feeble minding him. <laughs> it's probably. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Honey, we brought you a knoll. <laughs> hey, we're going to feeble mind him. Because that's more appropriate. I don't know if this has a touch. Man. Nope. Know where he is. Feeble mind. That's, that's enough for fuck with that. So Mind Blank does give it plus eight resistance against saving throw against all mind affecting spells and effects. So okay, he gets a, Does he cast as a sorcerer or wizard or arcane in the other way? 
with his prismatic walls and mace yeah, spells. Yeah, he's, he's casting as an arcane, okay. and he might so have he, also some. He gets a minus four and a saving throw. Okay. Okay. So, oh boy. <laughs> he, 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 he didn't seem very...